All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're here. Subscribe, like, share, become a member, buy me a coffee, or give me a super like if you like what I'm doing and you want to support this channel. I would be super glad. But let's go and walk through through this staging, shall we? Staging, stage, why am I saying staging? This stage was designed by Florian Weider, who is very renowned, amazing stage artist, stage designer, stage architect. His design, it's always somehow brilliant because it's not just a LED cube. It's always brings many other options, possibilities and ideas because how to perceive television architecture is that it must be visible, it must work really well for cameras. It must work well, very well for cameras and people in front of cameras or props on cameras and all the elements all together should really work together and all the time bring something new, something spectacular, something best and for this I think Florian is amazing because he's used to create layers on Eurovision stages and even though we will walk through this you will see that even though maybe layers are not there, they are everywhere. <laughs> Let's do this. I will be maybe stopping the video during. So we can see that there is a there is a big LED screen also covered around in the border by lights, which can create a very it's a very there are very strong light beams. Here we can see that already on the ceiling, which is probably not that extremely high as which should somehow be but they creatively really find a way there are many square beams which all each, each of them consisted of nine lights nine light beams which is brilliant and there are plenty over there and this is not everything like the box thing it's it's the fundament of this arena and i think what they made it and you can hear it you can see it really here that the arena is really not big, it's not big, but how illusion-wise they made it look huge and we will talk about it a little bit later with all those, all those elements you will see coming through. We have like 23, 24 cameras also. In here you can see the light beams, also covered in LED RGB lights. Of course, all of them are very strong powers, like source of light and light it's essential for camera work in general like if it's something a good camera design about its light light is a, the most essential part and you can see that there are so many light sources already there are lights over led screen there are lights over those like square beams elements whatever it is there are also those rgb lights which i don't know if they are lights or just rgb points which are over here all the around the arena you can see also reflections and also we have LED floor already, we have the LED back. I actually thought before that this cross platform, this central main stage, would be connected by the green roomish LED screen by Catwalk. After all, it's not, it's a one kind of piece, of course, because there is no space, it's not a huge arena. And what they did this, and you can see all the stairs or all the here are also like all you know every single corner will have a stair and there will be cameras around but what you can see in here that all those shapes all those shapes are creating space which is definitely needed and instead of creating everything flat they created a depth and I think this is this will be the most important part of staging of each country because they have so many elements they can work it work with that they can create a depth to their to their acts also, they can they can create a different various backgrounds to their acts, not just using LED screen, which also it's not that huge like last year. So, in my opinion, what Florian Weider created here, also with the team, is that they did maximum to provide artists, acts, countries with the possibility to not have flat stage designs like last year, because last year that was. A little bit killing everybody was putting artists like over here the screen was too big everything looked like they are close to each other because you must understand that in television work for example now if i go here you can see this this doesn't move but it looks if more closer closer to it i will be it will look like we are the one thing that's why i'm using the depth in here in the camera 
because it creates much more space, it's briefing behind me. If I'm just having flat LED, huge one, and I will be close, I will be even two meters out of it, it will look, I'm, I'm basically, you know, on it. Which, this is crazy because it plays with the perspective, perspectives for camera, this is a killing thing. You need a depth, you need a space. So that's why this will be the main part of, of the stage. But after all, I think all of those parts are very usable. And let's continue with this sneak peek. So we can see how the light works. They are basically all everywhere. Everything can be lit up. So I think Denmark will have their perfect light show they have in uh, the national selection. We can see that the light beams are going, but what is perfect, and we still don't see the other main element of the stage, and it's already fascinating that all of those elements, all of those, all of those squares, they can move also, and they can move in this angle. So what is this one, like 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees angle, and also be used in various ways, and also those panels are sliding down, which is also brilliant. Okay, we can see Arena from different angles. We can see that what is very interesting that you can also use shots like this also in your show if you would like to, if, you, if, if, if it makes a purpose. Because all the things what you can see here really, really plays. They, they, they just play. They, they are not flat. You can create so many layers just in here because so here we go, those crazy huge cubes, LED all around. Uh, with this system which shows mostly like the RGB scenes now but maybe it's capable of much much more like proper LEDs you can see how it goes down also we'll, we still miss it but also the arena could be lit for sure 100% but you can tell that the main central part is the stage and you have many elements, how to cage it out of all the elements. You can really took it out. You can really use each of those elements with the light beams to specifically create a path. For example, if you want a real a cross cross, you can also make it by light beams. You can do whatever in here. Like, like this stage is one of the most creative stages we have. It also, it's probably the stage which really works and it's stage which I'm very curious how countries will work with because in most of the countries, if I can tell, for example, Czechia, no one ever was working with such a thing, maybe on some concerts, but this is completely different work than for the camera work for TV. It's not the same to shoot concert and to do Eurovision. This is not the same discipline. It has completely different rules, different lights, whatever. It's not the same thing to do a concert and to do a television thing. What I like in here, that you i know that i'm very concrete but okay i'm obsessed by stage staging stage designs how to use all the frameworks in the beat and whatsoever here you have million options but what you have in here also and that just shows that how creative this stage is it will never feel black anywhere i think the worst thing worst thing what's happening to staging cameras is that you have some angles where behind them there is just a black hole. There is no depth, nothing visible. In here, just because of those square squares, also because of the light map you can create from ceiling, for example, you will always create the very smooth background. You will add layers. I will show you something. I hope it will be visible now. I don't want to use it, but if I use those little lights over there in the background, can you see it? It made a... It, can you see it? it? This what I did with the lights over there made a little difference, a little difference, but it lit, it made a difference. So imagine that you can put some other light sources over there to create this nice bokeh background, which will have the very impact on this filmic feeling if you would like to. For example, in Steadicams, you will always there will be something. So you don't need to even, you will have public over here. You don't need to use them as a light source or filling this will be looking much better. And also all of those little lights, they will be also able to spin RGB like, you know, so you can, they are still movable. It's every single element is interactive, which is brilliant. Even though here those lights don't do, don't change colors. Trust me, if they are able to be blue and, and pink over here in gradient, 
they will definitely be able to smooth, blake, whatever, do, do those effects. This is just so good. And here we go, those cubes, which also create and breaking up the flatness of the stage. I think the worst thing would happen, or how I perceive the stage from last year, was that it was very flat. It was basically an LED box. Nothing else. It was just LED on the floor, LED wall, LED walls around, a box in here. And this is, this maybe looks nice in the arena, but it gives or it kills a little bit of perspectives in the cameras because it just don't bring any depth, it's just walls. And in here, you can see that those elements are moving and they're breaking all the rules. They're, they're breaking the view and breaking the view also in photography, it's always great when you have some foreground, when you have some, your subject basically, your central focus and then some foreground that you work with space a little bit. I think this is, it's not a like crazy rule. You don't need to go by the rules, by the books this way, but it's very nice that you're breaking it because for the brain, it automatically looks better when there is something what breaks your attention or it's not perfect, imperfection makes perfection. And those cubes will help to create all those various structures, various things, which we actually saw in 2016, for example, at Eurovision in Stockholm, which was also brilliant because it was Cascade. In here, we have a different approach, very smart approach, and the approach which can also create some other possibilities for stage design, because you can play with those elements, and as you can see, they are very fast. It's, it's very fast, this clip has 1 minute 20 and everything moved down, everything moved up. Of course it won't be like this in every act. But this is brilliant, you know, you, you can see how the lights are fast. Everything is fast, here are other light beams. So you have so many elements how you can cage the stage, how you can play with it from various angles. You can blink, you can use contra, you can, you can use those boxes to bring up the atmosphere, you know. You can play with a different heights and lows with this. You you don't need to use it at all also. You can be very static, you can use any atmosphere and th that's, the, that's the thing why I really like this stage so much. Because it brings opportunities, it basically brings no limits, probably there are limits like what can you bring on the stage, hey, weight limits maybe some technical specific specification because of the cameras, but as you can see, even it's not completely 360, it kind of is. And in every single corner, every single part of it, you can use, you can use the angle of shooting and you can create something very specific. You can create something in one corner, then go back to the other corner and something is preparing on the third corner and no one in television will notice. Of course, people in the arena will notice, but uh, there is one rule about stage or television work that you're never doing it for the people in the arena mainly. You're first doing it for the people in front of TVs and then as a bonus, the people in the arena to have this very specific experience. But you are doing it for the TV people in front of TV and those things and you want them to see what you want them to see. And if you have so many options, and but also limits, you are perfectly safe. And in here, you have so many safe zones, which are brilliant. Of course, the probably the the green room will be behind behind the LED screen. Somewhere behind this, we don't know if this screen will be also movable or not, or it will be a hidden for some reason, or because of the arena limitations. Like something, I'm not fan of, but we saw it, for example, in. Israel uh, 2019, I wasn't fan of it because you don't feel like part of the show, even you're there in the bubble, in the green room, sitting there, it's not the same. It's not the same like the vibe, which was, for example, brilliant in 2018 Portugal. Like for me, this old school stage, the old school, it was very modern stage design, but without LED, and actually I loved it. It also put creations and in here, even though it feels you limitless, you are limited. You are limited by the shape of this. You are limited by the elements you can use. 
and I think limit for creativity is also perfect even it feels limitless it just gives you options and those options are various and I think they are much more clearer to use than last year at some point where you can see that the good stage design is not reflected by how the host country can use it because those people basically made it staged it they know every single element how it really works and they are using it to 100 percent the delegations are not aware of everything they are not there they're just not sure no one i don't remember when if, if somebody really talked crazily great about like all the possibilities of the stage in real how it really works like what it's possible i always found out that i cannot use this because it's too heavy blah 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 you know you have limitations and in here it's simply tells you you want to use concert lights use concert lights you don't need to use led screens because we will cover all the spaces so it won't be ever black behind or we will can use for example gradient colors in the background or whatever but it will never feel flat you can see also the distance from here to the led screen is huge and i think the last shot actually shows this very nicely that even in here if you put a person if you will put a person over here, which will be basically like that high. Can you see it? That high to the sun, let's say, because I think this is the real, real high of the person. He will not look that lost. But anyway, anyway, this is, this is what I think about it. It brings opportunities. I love the stage. I'm very curious how the, how the countries will use it because that will really show how the stage is really good. If they, the countries are able to use the elements of the stage perfectly to 100% from various angles and various creativity, creative ideas, not just putting big props on the stage, but in here you can just really use lights, some graphics or colors and camera angles. And I think for creativity, you have enough things to play without putting anything specific on the stage and this is perfect because not everybody can afford it and this can work for you if you your idea is just great and i'm talking about ideas all the time but everything starts with the ideas then the execution this is something else but first of all strong visual idea and also a good song and that's it so i hope you enjoy this tour <laughs> i hope you enjoy this tour I'm, come on i can talk about this one hour and that's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, buy me a coffee or give me a super like, support me. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.